So we got some limestone here. Can you tell us anything about blasting limestone? Well, there's lots of different types of limestone, but uh, really it doesn't matter what type of limestone it is chemically. Well, apart from, you know, what you're going to sell it for. Uh, from a blasting perspective, what's important is the mechanical properties of that limestone. And some limestone is great, fantastic, massive limestone. It'll give you fairly uh, good broad fragmentation um, but then we've got limestone that's got lots of joints and bedding planes and uh, when you've got thin bedding planes all you're going to end up with is thin plate platelets you're not going to get big rocks and then of course uh, one of the problems with limestone is some places we have a lot of solution cavities not everywhere you go in some limestone forest and it's just massive the whole way through but We've got all sorts of solution cavities like this, and, and that one doesn't look too bad, but man, you could get a couple of bags of anfo in that easy, right? So that is, is, is a real problem, and one of the things you have to be careful of is when you're shooting uh, limestone is always to go down and have a look at that face, because then it will tell you if you've got some problem layers, where here we've got a certain horizon that's got lots and lots of solution cavities. And maybe you might not hit them when you're drilling, uh, but then you could get all these premature blowouts on the face. Definitely don't want any premature blowouts on the face. No, no bueno. <laughs> Definitely not. It can get quite messy. So is limestone good for horses? Well, it's actually limestone's good for dogs. Uh, some, some, uh, some quarries, they actually mine limestone and put it in pet food for dogs, the calcium. Uh, another thing is uh, in your orange juice, you know, when you see it, whenever you see it says fortified with the uh, uh, calcium, right, that's, that's, uh, that's uh, limestone, right? It's all ground down real fine. Uh, and uh, there's a lot goes to poultry food, actually. Uh, I think it makes better eggs, shells and everything. So. Interesting. Yeah. It's used for all sorts of food, it's crazy. They use really great uh, clear grade ones that are high reflected, really high uh, calcium carbonate content for uh, paper. Um, and you see a lot of that stuff um, okay, uh, where they're mining a, a metamorphosed uh, form of uh, limestone called marble in, the, uh, in Appalachia. And uh, that's all used for all sorts of things. And, and in toothpaste, okay, and uh, pills. Yeah, limestone, calcium carbonate, pills and stuff like that. So, um, all sorts of uses. Now, when you've got a really, really super white, high quality grade limestone, you can get a lot of money for it. It's not like your usual gravel, uh, well, crushed rock uh, stuff where you're paying somewhere between, I don't know, depends where you are, um, probably eight to twelve dollars a ton out the gate. But um, depending on the quality and where you are, uh, to where some places when it's crushed down and everything, you're getting more than a hundred dollars a ton for this stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So all sorts of different uses. All right, so what kind of size rock will we get out of this bad boy? Case well, right it depends here? what the, the area is. Behind me, high up on the cliff face, it's, it's fairly massive. So when you blast that, you're going to have the ability to get a lot of big rock if you want it. Um, Okay, but down here you can see there's lots of fine joints down here and those joints are going to define how big a chunk of rock is going to come out because when you blast it, it breaks the rock, you don't glue it together. I don't know what people don't understand about this, but if you've got a, if you've got a, a limestone with a load of two inch chunks, you're not going to get anything, anything bigger than two inches, right? Uh, I've had people ask me, I want to make rip wrap, but it always comes out fine. Well, what's the limestone look like there? Does it look like sugar cubes? And you go, oh yeah, you know. I said, well, you know, you've got to glue it together before you blast it, because blasting don't glue it together. Horses like sugar cubes? Oh yeah, horses love sugar cubes. Yeah. It's not good for them to go with it. 
Oh, uh, should we go wrangle us up some breakfast? That sounds like a good idea to me. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're spent.